Welcome to our channel. We are Jose and Laura and we find ourselves building a tiny home in Colombia without any experience. Subscribe to our channel to learn about this project. In this episode, we're going to show you an ancient sustainable building method that's been around for at least 10,000 years. You've probably never heard of it, so stick around to the end of the episode to see some projects that are currently being made with this same technique. After spending a bit of time in Laura's family's home, we're heading to Barichara. Yeah, now it's time to continue working in our tiny home. just uh, got a routine check, allegedly, in a bus. I had to take our passports out. They looked through our phones, searched our bags. Allegedly, they wanted to make sure we weren't transporting stolen cell phones. <laughs> we arrived to Barichara. <laughs> the place where it never rains. <laughs> yeah, right? And now we're walking, I think, 15 minutes walk. At least. <laughs> to go to our tiny home and we spent the day looking for a dome to cover up the hole in the top of the roof but no luck and now we have to figure out how we are gonna sleep tonight because it's raining and there is a still that big hole in the middle of the roof <laughs> that we need to cover and so maybe we will get wet tonight i don't know for our tiny home we're using cup but there are other techniques earth building techniques for example here in Barichara we use tapia pisada in English ram earth which essentially is just taking the dirt from the earth putting it in a mold you hit it over and over with these pallets and then when you take the mold off it maintains the shape and then these are the walls as you go up and then you put a roof on top yeah it looks pretty nice my cousin is building right now he's building some uh, houses small houses also our cabanas using tapia pisada absolutely beautiful so today is a new day last night we arrived very late we had to prepare the bed the tent right here to sleep because we <laughs> we still have this hold on the roof that so we have th to cover there was some water in the tent that we were able to remove and luckily the bedding was all stored in a separate location so it didn't get wet uh, we slept fine, it didn't rain yesterday, but we did have to get on top of the roof to put in a uh, plastic covering. It's very temporal. Temporal, it's very... Um, Temporary? Conditional. It's only for Improvisado. a moment. Improvisado. Yeah. Improvised. <laughs> Improvised. <laughs> it's only for a moment because uh, we're going to try to get some sort of like glass covering, but we weren't able to find a solution yesterday, so mm -hmm. that's what we have. And we made the setup of our provisional kitchen everything here is provisional and now we're ready to cook our breakfast today we're going to town to buy some more sand to keep working on the walls we're hoping to get the last layer these next couple weeks super yeah. excited yeah last time the truck that brought us the sand was stuck because it was raining a lot but now it's very sunny and hopefully we'll be get to the property we just got to barichara so we're gonna do some errands basically just try to survive the next couple weeks while living in a tent <laughs> Now that we have the sand, we're fixing up some of the holes and cracks that we found in the wall. Looks like there's gonna be plenty of sand to still do one more layer on the wall and finish up the floor. So if you're interested in sustainable building, but you're not convinced that you wanna pursue a project with Cobb, there are a lot of other options, rammed earth being one of them. Here are some of the beautiful projects that we've seen in Barichara. If you ever end up in Barichara, you can find this beautiful place by searching Trinitarios on Booking. Yesterday was a very long day and it only got longer in the evening when it started to rain. We're having more problems with the roof. So we're not sure exactly what we're gonna do. Sometimes you have to take one step back in order to take two steps forward. Mm -hmm. 